And so this is really one of the um, challenging and interesting parts of such, such a framework is how to efficiently maintain and deploy this number of LSTM. And this is where our partnership with SIGOPT really came, came into its own. Um, and there's a number of steps that we took in order to um, expedite this, this, this process. So the first is around really narrowing the architecture search space. So certain architectures of, of LSTM will lend themselves to certain sensor types, for example, vibrations uh, or, or temperatures. You can also standardize your, your architecture to some extent by having, for example, masking layers, your first layer to handle extended periods of unusable data, um, and then an LSTM layer and a dense layer, and then controlling capacity through number of neurons. We then uh, reduce the, 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 the requirement on, on resources by searching for hyperparameters with respect to multiple metrics, which is a nice uh, feature you have available with SIGOPT. So instead of just minimizing for validation loss, you're also minimizing for training time. So finding the best model that trains in the shortest amount of time. On top of this, performing distrib distributed training with, with Bayesian optimization and parallelization on parameter search evaluation also significantly helps reduce requirement on resources. So each time you're evaluating a set of hyperparameters, you can be in parallel evaluating multiple suggestions simultaneously. And we found about a 10x resource saving um, compared to random search. <laughs> 